Yo, what's good, homies and homies? What do you do? It's your boy RC here. Can we get into the top five busting moments from the final impact before Hard to Kill? Now, you're probably like, why am I reacting to something that took place weeks before? Because I never got a chance to react to this video. And not only that, I never got to see what happened in days leading up to the pay per view. Now, I did see Hard to Kill, which was a hell of a good pay per view. The main event between Sammy Callahan and Tessa Blanchard was great. So many near falls and great comebacks and defense as well as offensive things happening on both sides and Tessa Blanchard won the match which was great and the first world women's champion like she holds a man's title and that's what they was trying to do with China and WWE like 20 years ago but it never panned out but anyway let's go ahead and get into this video I can't wait to get into it and see what I missed so we're gonna hop into that right now Impact Plus. Experience Impact Wrestling like never before. Oh no. Better open them wider than that. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Watch out for the thick boys. Watch out for the thick boys. Oh, <laughs> Follow Bob, man. He is just, he's just, he's gonna be a legend in his own Tiger right. Got caught up. Oh, nice. I thought he was gonna botch that first. I thought he was gonna botch that. Oh, nice guy, hi. Dino Bow would be proud. Dino Bow would be proud of that. You know, Ishira, Ishira is a good wrestler, but he needs the proper push. He needs a proper, correct push. And I'm just saying that he really do. He needs a proper push. Take advantage. Well, he should talk. What is oh. he doing? Oh, Rosemary watched it. Oh, wait a minute. Jessica Havoc was having doing. Oh, watch out for the Fit Girls. I speak for the Fit Girls. Jessica Havoc has her own Twitch channel. So when you get a chance, definitely check it out. It's great. She plays a lot of different games on there, like Red Dead Redemption, as well as other games. But let's go ahead and hop back to the video. Havoc is pulling Rosemary back into the ring. Chaos is in. Oh, Ooh, that DDT. Ooh, that DDT. And on the outside. Father James Ooh. Mitchell is covering the eyes of Susie. He doesn't want her to see this. He doesn't want her to see the... Oh. I thought she was great on commentary. Yeah. Oh, watch out for a tombstone. Watch out for a tombstone. tombstone. Nice tombstone power driver. And Jessica Havoc owns a victory over Rosemary. The girl wins again. Hey, now I'm just playing Havoc. I'm just playing girl. Well, she is a good wrestler, very underrated in my opinion. Havoc really is a good wrestler. Father James Mitchell said you don't want to see this. Who is he to say who gets to see anything? I find him very disturbing. Havoc is a good wrestler. Really is a good wrestler. And I feel like she needs a proper push in the women's division in Impact Wrestling. I feel like 2020 could be her year. But we'll see how this year pans out and as time goes on, we'll see what happens. But I feel like this is her year. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Susie's here and let's see what she does now. How disturbing is it when, what condition is your life in when Father James Mitchell is your guardian? <laughs> I love Brian Callis' commentary sometime, man. He is just a trip. He is the trip. Is Moose going up top? He said, this is for you, Rob. It's... No way. Too big. Best multi-sport athlete. Impact Wrestling needs to work on getting a bigger audience. Moose with a star. Oh. Five star frog splash. But he missed. But he missed. Rhino rolled out of the way. Moose's ego may cost oh, him. Nice gore. Nice gore. Brian Cage. Brian Cage with him clothesline. That discus clothesline is something. And Brian Cage picks up the win for his team. Here are your winners, the team of Rhino and Brian Cage. What a match. Can Brian Cage pin Rob Van Dam on Sunday? <laughs> No, he cannot. Actually, that was his last match Sunday. From what I've heard, he signed with AEW, from what I heard. But his wife completely denied the claims. And 
I, I remember on Twitch, I was watching Twitch last Tuesday, Impact Wrestling, and I usually have no problem there. Um, just because I commented that he signed with AEW, I think that he signed with AEW. I got time down in their chat for about 10 minutes. And I'm like, girl, come on now. You can't be like, you know. But hey, it is what it is. Let's get back to the video. Can Rhino gore moose and hard to kill? Now, I don't know what promotion Brian Cage is signing with. If he does sign with ODB. AEW, that's wonderful. And I feel like he did. ODB's powerful. There's no question about that. Oh. Ooh, nice TKO. Nice TKO. Jordan Grace. Cover on Taya Valkyrie. ODB pulls her off. Cover ODB. ODB hey, Taya. she got to put that W, get the paycheck, and get her food truck in order. Nice. Go, girl. Hmm. Speak of underrated people at Impact Wrestling. Speak on the way Impact Wrestling, ODB is definitely one of them. She paved the way for the women's division in Impact Let's Wrestling as far as I'm concerned. ODB just pinned Ty Valkyrie, who has not been pinned by And plus, ODB is a very, very entertaining very wrestler. And she really is. Sunday, ODB will be knockout champion. She's got momentum, folks. Impact Wrestling really needs to work on doing a bigger crowd, though. They're really good. Michael Elgin. Michael Elgin. Oh, Eddie, Eddie, oh. Eddie lands on his feet. I thought he was going to hit the buckle ball. Elgin counters. Eddie lands on his feet again. Oh, wait, oh, wait a minute. Now he's schoolboy. What's he going to turn into? Ooh. Oh, half crab. Right into a crossface. Crossface. Oh, right into his hand. Shoulders down. Michael Elgin was down, but not out. Elgin had to release his submission because of the pinfall. What a nice... Now I'll go right into the face. And oh, nope, he's gonna turn that into a buckle ball. Buckle bomb right into the Batista ball. Up and then spin the Batista ball. Nice, I love it. One, two, three. And speaking of people who need a push, Michael Elgin's one of them. He definitely needs to be world champ. Definitely. That was a good top five. It was definitely, definitely a good top five. But that was heading into Hard to Kill. I'm going to check out what happened after Hard to Kill. But this was heading into that pay-per-view, and it was good. The pay-per-view, like I said, again, was good. It was trending on Twitter. Like, I think it was number one on trending. Twitter that was trending. As soon as Tessa Blanchard won that title, everybody started tweeting about it. It was really, really something. But um, hopefully you all enjoyed this video as much as I did reacting to it. Definitely be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, share. And until next time, much love. Stay cool, y'all. Peace.